This is Sarah Warning. I'm at the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in the Division of Birds, showing the medullary bone candling technique using specimen USNM560556, a female Phallococrorax auritus from New Mexico. So in bones that don't have any medullary bone in them, like this humerus, um, if you hold them over a uh, pretty high-powered flashlight, you can see that it glows. Uh, the bones are pretty thin-walled and there's nothing in there, and so it, it has this translucent quality. And as you kind of run the bone down over the flashlight, you see it, it glows uh, pretty much the entire way down. Uh, if you compare that to a bone that is full of medullary bone, like a femur, when you hold a femur over the candle, or whatever your light source is, you can see that it's totally opaque, it's not glowing at all. And that's because it's filled pretty much completely full. The only time you might get a glow is, is right over here, uh, over that hole where um, marrow, or it's drilled to, to let marrow out during uh, preparation of a skeleton. Um, in bones where medullary bone partially fills uh, the element, like this tibiotarsus, you can see that it's, it's not glowing like the humerus, it's pretty opaque. Uh, and then you get down to the end, and you can tell when you hit the extent of the medullary bone because the bone starts glowing again. And you can conserve that, you can confirm that by looking in those drill holes here. This one is uh, more distal, and there's a medullary bone down there. So if you looked at it with a loop, um, like a hand lens, um, and you just you just held it up and, and looked at it in there, um, you wouldn't see any medullary bone. Whereas if you did that with a femur, um, you'd be able to to see the medullary bone in, inside that hole. Um, it's best to do this in a room that's pretty dark um, or shaded. If you have a bigger bone, like something like an ostrich, you really have to make sure the marrow is completely drained out or it won't work at all. Um, and, and for that you'd probably need a much high powered, much more high powered light, um, like a, one of those gooseneck lamps that, that they use to highlight stereo microscopes. For these smaller bones, um, I just use the Phoenix E12. It's a pretty high candle power on the highest setting and um, it's pretty good for this sort of rapid assessment.